Sonic is a franchise I've always been in love with, I love replaying Sonic every now and then, but the Sonic games I come back to the most are the Genesis classics, being Sonic 1, 2, 3K, and CD. However just because those are the Sonic games I return to the most doesn't mean I have little to no gripes with it, far from it. So I would like to share my grievances with the classic era Sonic games, starting with, of course, Sonic 1. Let's start with positives, Sonic 1 is the best game to master out of all the Sonic games. It has the most skips out of the four games, each having to do with using Sonic's good physics, with some exceptions. Like running across the platforms to skip riding the block in Marble Zone, or skipping this annoying elevator section in Spring Yard Zone by using the speed shoes and this ramp. Sonic 1 is honestly the most strict of the four, but that is probably the best aspect of this game and, at least in my opinion, probably the only aspect Sonic 1 has over the other games. Many people dislike the fact you have to backtrack to gain enough speed to pass loops and ramps if you are not fast enough, but I like this. This feature greatly increases the game's skill ceiling and really helps solidify the game's idea that speed is a reward for understanding the level design. Another good thing about Sonic 1 is the music, it's third when it comes to which classic game has the best soundtrack, my favorite track being Starlight Zone. Ok let's see, well um, let me think if there are any other positives. Well I like the bosses, the final boss is a bit anticlimactic. Yeah that's all my positives so let's just start the list of things that upset me. My first issue with the game is the visibility. Yes, I know the gameplay footage I'm using is from Sonic Forever, a fan project by the Forever team that completely remasters Sonic 1, go check them out by the way. However, I have the classic games on the Genesis Classics collection on Steam. Which is what I played, but for viewer enjoyment it's the Forever version because it has a wide screen. Back to the subject, the visibility is god awful, enemies and hazards are easy to run into. Making it easy to lose all your rings, speaking of rings, if you have 50 rings by the end of a stage that isn't act 3 or any scrap brain level, a large ring will appear behind the goal post, touching the ring will send you to the game's special stage as these levels are affected by the shitty visibility the most in Sonic 1, it's very easy to just bounce around with little control so you just have to pray you don't land on one of the goal blocks because seeing ahead of you is really tough so your best shot at winning is very slowly hugging the wall. The reward for winning said special stage is the game's main collectible, the 6 Chaos Emeralds. The Chaos Emeralds are what's painful about this, the only reward for grabbing them all is flowers in the ending. What's worse is that because there are no save files in this game, the moment you exit the game, it's back to square one. Sonic 2 also has this issue, but the reward for getting the Chaos Emeralds actually does something useful by introducing the 7th Emerald and by association Super Sonic an invincible version of Sonic that goes even faster and has a better jump height. My second gripe with this game is Labyrinth Zone. Labyrinth Zone is reverse Sonic, it's tedious, it's slow, it feels awful to play. And the fact these qualities are present in a Sonic game, makes it way more disappointing. This zone is a complete spit in the face towards the game. In all the classic games, Sonic usually travels from nature-rich areas to more mechanized and terraformed areas of the game to represent Sonic and Eggman's nature versus machine gimmick. Labyrinth Zone's placement in the game is before Starlight Zone, but after Spring Yard Zone. This makes zero sense because Spring Yard Zone looks way more terraformed and mechanized than Labyrinth Zone, but hey who else but Labyrinth Zone to ruin everything. Another thing wrong with Labyrinth Zone is the boss, you don't even fight Eggman, you just follow him up a path filled with traps defeating him is literally optional so no cool boss for Labyrinth Zone which sucks. The developers knew Labyrinth Zone was awful because they decided to make a Labyrinth Zone clone as the game's final non-boss level, but now with even more bullshit than the regular Labyrinth Zone. However this level fortunately has the biggest skip in this game, so there isn't too much to rant about. My third and final gripe with this game is how long it just drags, 3 levels per zone with Green Hill and Starlight Zone. I'm fine with it, but all the other zones and especially Labyrinth and Scrap Brain are just really annoying to do for a third time. Okay, that's really all my gripes that have any depth, I know this entire video was just me just harping on Sonic 1, but despite that for some reason I love this game, I just think it's overrated. Sub me for a sub back, anyways thanks if you stuck around, and goodbye.